we will look at using the incremental backups to restore and recover the database. We had earlier taken uh, level 0 and level 1 incremental backups. I have also taken subsequent archive log backups. So we will use these sets of backups and this time we will do a complete recovery right up to the last online read log transaction. Let's verify what backups we have right now. Scroll up through the screen. So uh, 22nd October, these are level 0 incremental backups which were taken. Then this is a check control file backup. There's subsequent level 1 incremental backups. Subsequent to that, there are archive log backups all the way to from 22nd October to 25th October. So we have incremental level 0 as of SCN 143261173, then level 1 143341244, and after that, we have archive logs up to 143619934. So we will be using these backups to do the restore and recovery. Let me just first create a script to delete the database files. So I'm going to remove all the database files, but this time I'm not removing the uh, online read log files, so I will be able to do a complete recovery. I've removed the database files there, so I've now done a shutdown about. I have the control file. So I can start up mount. And I can verify that I have all my backups again. So uh, list backup now with the database in mount state shows me level 0 backups and level 1 backups and archive log backups all the way to 25th of October. So let me go back to our man and issue a restore database. So it's restoring from a backup set look at the backup set name c2kxelctc as of 224033 let's see which one that is It's doing a restore of the database and after that I will issue a recover database. So the restore is taking some time. can see that the backup is restored from the, the the files are being restored from the backup of 22nd October 
it cannot restore an incremental level 1 backup it has to restore from a baseline which is a level 0 backup in an incremental backup strategy or if there is no incremental backup strategy implemented it has to restore from a full backup Remember the this the database checkpoints are at of different points in time. One four three six three two six one seven three is the level zero checkpoint. And uh, the next level one checkpoint is much higher. So we we see that this is the backup piece that was used to restore from let's verify which backup piece this is 22nd October 2015 22:40:33. scroll back this one 20, 22nd October 2015 22:40:33 C2 CXC LCTC and that contains these six data file backups level zero so we confirm that this backup piece that was used had a level zero backups then I will issue a recover database I do not have to issue a restore for the level one backup Oracle can automatically read from the level one backups and apply those level one backups so that is what it did here. Let me just scroll back. Okay, wait for this to here. When I issued a re recover database here, it started reading this piece. Right? C2 KX and Q of 22, 45, 42. Which is, if you scroll back, this one. And this contained the level 1 incremental backups. So when I issued my recover database, it has automatically restored the incremental backup files and applied them to the database files. And then after that, it has applied archive logs. So it has applied archive logs 6, 7, 8. And to apply the archive logs, it also automates the restore of the archive logs. I do not have to manually restore archive logs. So these archive logs are automatically restored, while these ones are already on disk. 24, 25, 26 are on disk. But six, no, six, seven, eight, nine onwards had to be restored. So it restored them, and then applied those archive logs. And after applying the archive logs, you can you can see that it also deletes those archive logs. So it has completed the recovery. Let me just scroll through the screens again. I issue a restore database. This is the first command I issue today: restore database, and it is restoring from this backup piece if you look at this backup piece is 224033 of 22nd October C2KX let me just verify what the contents were C2KX 224033 is a level 0 backup so the restore is from the level 0 backup now after I issue the restore database it has completed restoring I issue a recover database and then it applies the incremental backups to the database files and it applies the incremental backup from this piece C2 KX and Q71 let's scroll up again so this piece which contains level 1 incremental backups so the recover database command automatically restores modified blocks from these level 1 incremental backups and applies them to the database files then thereafter I do not even have to restore archive logs it continues automatically restoring archive logs from backups as well applying the archive logs and then deleting them automatically so the re restore database and recover database automatically identify which backups to restore from which archive logs to restore which archive logs to apply and 
automatically deletes the archive logs after they've been applied. So, I, so this is my full recovery of the database. Now, if I try to open the database, it should be able to open the database because it, it would have also applied the online redo logs which have not been deleted. So, subsequent to the last archive log 20, uh, number 24, it has also applied the online redo logs. Let's verify that. So we identified my trace destination. And then I look at the alert log. Let me scroll back through the alert log before they open. Here you can see the messages. 279 is not an error, it's just a message saying that it needs to apply archive log and it is applied the archive log. After applying the last archive log here, um, sequence number 24. 25, 26 and 27 are applied from the online redo log files, not from the archive logs. So if I am able to apply transactions from the online redo log files, I am doing a complete recovery, not an incomplete recovery. Let me scroll back again through this and look at the information about the database files. Here I can see that it's restored the database files. It's a full restore of database files. Scroll down. And an incremental restore of database files. Right? First I had full restores. Then I had incremental restores. Again, let me remind you, I did not have to issue a restore command for the incremental ones. The recover database command automatically restored the incremental backups and applied them to the database files. Basically merge the changes which are captured in the incremental backups with the baseline of the full full restore that were initially restored. Then the recover also proceeded to restore and apply archive logs and finally it applied the online redo logs and therefore it did a complete recovery of the database and it allowed me to open the database without a reset logs. So now I do not have to do a reset logs in this scenario. So that is how even if I have incremental backups, I do not have to specify a restore uh, to identify the incremental backup to res restore from Oracle automatically identifies the, res the incremental backup as part of the recover command itself. Oracle automatically identifies the archive logs as part of the recover command. Oracle also deletes the archive logs once they are applied. And finally, if there are online redo logs available, it will also apply the online redo logs to do a complete recovery. So this scenario showed how I used incremental backups and archive logs to do recovery without having to specify, without having to tell Oracle that I am using an incremental backup. Armin automatically identifies incremental backups and applies them. Thank you.